Hello students. So let's try to solve one more question from IIT Jam 2023. And this question is from mechanics. And uh, uh, let me explain this question. So there is a projectile motion. So this is a projectile motion. And uh, what we have at any point, you can say this point is P, the mass of projectile of the body is M or particle is M. And uh, we can assume this is origin. And this is our R vector. This is our X direction. And this one is our Y direction. So at this point P, when this R is making angle theta with Y axis, then what will be expression of total energy in term of R and theta? So here R is variable. So you can just see every time R and theta is changing with the time. So <clears throat> obviously, we can do this problem in polar coordinate also, or we can start from the Cartesian coordinate and do the coordinate transformation and we can easily solve it. So let me write this uh, total energy. So total energy is nothing but kinetic energy plus potential energy. So here in a Cartesian coordinate, I can write X and Y. Then the kinetic energy is half M X dot square plus Y dot square. And what will be my potential energy? So here is the catch. The potential energy will be plus and we will go for mg y. Why? Because it is given that the ground has on the ground, we have potential energy zero. So whatever be the potential energy above the ground and this side we will take as a positive sign. So this will be my mg y. So I will go for potential energy mg y. If this is my uh, reference of the potential and at the ground, the potential energy is zero. Now, what we can do, this is my x coordinate and this is my y distance. So what we can do, we can <coughs> easily transform the coordinate and x is nothing but r sine theta and y is nothing but r cos theta. And because theta is given with respect to y axis, so this is another catch. In general, when we are doing the polar coordinate system, we will just uh, take angle with x axis. But here, theta is given with the y axis. So why? We have to just go for this. And from here, we can find x dot is equal to r dot sine theta plus r cos theta, theta dot, and y dot is equal to r dot cos theta. So I can use this space actually. So y dot is equal to y dot is equal to r dot cos theta minus r sin theta theta dot. And once we will go for x dot square plus y dot square, then I can go for total energy of a system. The total energy of a system is equal to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square and y is nothing but r cos theta that will be plus mg r cos theta. So this will be my energy and I think option one is correct in this form. So <clears throat> for this particular problem option one is correct. So total energy is half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus m g r cos theta. So this is multiplied here. So this is very simple problem if you will go from the basic. But we have to always take care of uh, what will be angle theta and how you will write the gravitational thing. Okay. Thank you.